Imagine if your body had a superhero team, always ready to protect you from bad guys. Well guess what, it does, and that team is called the immune system. Our bodies are like bustling cities, teeming with life and activity. But just like any city, our bodies can also attract some unwanted visitors, the villains, or as we scientists like to call them, germs. These germs can be bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites, and they're always looking for a chance to invade our bodies and cause trouble. But fear not, because our bodies have a team of superheroes, always ready to spring into action and fight off these bad guys. And this team is what we call the immune system. The immune system is our body's defense system. It's like the Avengers or Justice League of our bodies. Just think about it. Whenever a germ enters our body, our immune system superheroes rush to the scene, ready to battle and protect us. They use their superpowers to recognize these germs, remember them, and launch an attack to destroy them. And the best part? They do all this without us even knowing it. We might feel a bit under the weather, maybe get a fever or a runny nose, but that's just a sign that our immune system superheroes are hard at work, fighting off the germs and keeping us safe. And just like any superhero team, our immune system is made up of different members, each with their own unique powers and abilities. There are special cells that act like the scouts, always on the lookout for germs. Then there are the soldiers who fight off the germs. And let's not forget the memory cells, who remember the germs so they can be defeated quickly if they dare to return. So, just like how superheroes protect their cities, our immune system protects us from harmful germs, isn't that cool? Now, every superhero team has its members, right? Our immune system is no different. Let's meet our body superheroes. First up, we have the white blood cells, the brave warriors of our body. They're like the knights in shining armor, always ready to battle those pesky germs. There are several types of these cells, each with a special role. Neutrophils, for example, are the first to arrive at the scene of an infection, while lymphocytes remember past invaders and help the body respond quickly if they dare to return. Next, we have the antibodies, our body's secret agents. These guys are like tiny detectives always on the lookout for harmful invaders. When they spot one, they stick to it like glue, marking it for destruction. They're our body's way of saying, you're not welcome here, germs. Then there's the complement system. Think of it as our body's demolition crew. When activated, it punches holes in the walls of bacteria and viruses causing them to burst. Boom, no more invaders. And let's not forget the spleen and lymph nodes. They're like the command centers of our immune system. They help coordinate the attack, ensuring that our body's superheroes are always one step ahead of the germs. The bone marrow and thymus are our superhero training facilities. This is where our white blood cells grow up and learn how to fight off infections. It's like a superhero school but for our cells. Finally, we have the skin and mucous membranes, the unsung heroes of our immune system. They act like the body's fortress walls, preventing germs from even entering our bodies. They're our first line of defense against harmful invaders. Our body superhero team sure is amazing, isn't it? But remember, every superhero has their unique power and so does each part of our immune system. Just like superheroes need training to use their powers effectively, our immune system needs training too. This training comes in two forms, innate and acquired immunity. Imagine our immune system as a superhero training camp. First, we have the innate immunity squad. These are the superheroes born with special powers. From the moment we're born, they're ready to fight. They're our body's first line of defense, like the sturdy walls of a fortress, protecting us from the uninvited invaders, also known as germs. They're quick, they're tough, and they don't need any training to get started. But they're a bit like a one-size-fits-all suit. They treat all germs the same way. On the other hand, we have the acquired immunity team. These superheroes are not born with powers, but they gain them over time. They're like the elite special ops force of our immune system. They're slower to respond than the innate squad, but they're incredibly smart. They remember every germ they've ever met, so if they encounter the same germ again, they know exactly how to defeat it. Just like a superhero who learns a villain's weakness, then uses it to win the next battle. It's quite impressive, isn't it? So how do these superheroes gain their powers? Well, they get them through exposure to germs or through vaccinations. It's a bit like a training simulation where they learn how to recognize and defeat different types of germs without the risk of getting seriously sick. To sum it up, innate immunity is like a superhero's natural-born power, always ready to protect us. Acquired immunity, however, is like the skills a superhero learns over time, becoming more effective with each battle they fight. So, 
Whether it's innate or acquired, our immune system is always training to keep us safe, just like a real superhero, right? Even superheroes need a little boost sometimes. And our immune system is no different. But how can we give it that boost? Well, think of your immune system as a superhero squad. Each member has special powers, but they need the right fuel to keep them strong and ready for action. This fuel comes from what we eat and do every day, and it's more than just eating an apple a day to keep the doctor away. Firstly, a superhero diet is full of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods provide essential nutrients that our immune system needs to function at its best. Fruits and vegetables are like the ultimate power-up, packed with vitamins and minerals that help our immune system fight off bad guys, also known as germs. Secondly, exercise is like the training montage for our immune system superheroes. Regular physical activity helps improve circulation, making it easier for our immune system cells to move around the body and do their job more effectively. But even superheroes need rest, that's where sleep comes in. Adequate sleep is essential for our immune system to repair and regenerate. Imagine it as the secret headquarters where our superheroes regroup and strategize for their next mission. And let's not forget about hydration. Water is like the superhighway that allows our immune cells to travel quickly and efficiently throughout the body. So keep sipping that H2O. Lastly, managing stress is key. When we're stressed, our body produces a hormone called cortisol, which can suppress our immune system. Think of stress as the sneaky villain trying to weaken our superhero squad. Finding ways to relax and unwind like reading a book or taking a walk can help keep our immune system strong. By taking care of our bodies, we're not just helping ourselves, but we're also helping our body's superhero team be the best it can be. Okay, time to see how much you remember about our body's superhero team. Let's rewind a bit. We've learned that our immune system is like a superhero team living inside us, always ready to defend against harmful invaders. The team is made up of various parts, including our skin, white blood cells, lymphatic system, spleen, and bone marrow, each playing a crucial role in protecting our body. We've also discovered that our immune system has two types of immunity, innate and acquired. Innate immunity is our body's first line of defense. It's like the superhero who's always on guard duty, protecting us from all sorts of invaders. On the other hand, acquired immunity is like the superhero who gains special powers after defeating a villain, making them stronger and more prepared for the next battle. And remember, we can help our immune system stay strong by eating a balanced diet, getting enough sleep, staying active, and washing our hands regularly. Just like how superheroes need to train and rest, our immune system needs us to take care of our body to perform at its best. Now let's see if you've been paying attention with a quick quiz. Question 1. What are the two types of immunity our body has? Question 2. Name one part of the immune system and its function. And finally question 3. How can we help strengthen our immune system? Take your time, there's no rush. When you're ready, drop your answers in the comments below. Remember just like superheroes, our immune system is always working hard to protect us. So let's do our part and help it out, okay? Stay healthy everyone.